I, I remember that when the internet just came along, people had this idea that, oh, we just now share more information, so this will inevitably lead to greater freedom and scientific thinking and rationale. And it didn't happen because information isn't the truth. Information, fiction is also information. Fake news is also information, and it's not new. You look, for example, at the print revolution in early modern Europe. So the big blockbusters of the late 15th and early 16th century European book markets, they were not the scientific books of people like Copernicus and Galileo. They were uh, do-it-yourself witch hunting manuals. This was the big craze of, of that time. Uh, all kinds of ridiculous conspiracies about witch hunting, which led to you know, tens of thousands of people, mostly women, being tortured and murdered in terrible ways and this was powered by this new mass communication technology of print. You know, the same way that people say today, it's true, I saw it on YouTube. So imagine some town in 15th century or 16th century Germany that they are going witch hunting and the leader says, it's true, I read it in a book. How can you doubt something that you read in a book? And it took a long time for people to realize, look, just because it's written in a book, it doesn't mean it's true. So we are now in the same situation with these new technologies, and I hope that our learning curve would be a bit quicker than with print.